Yo! Good afternoon, good afternoon. I see Paul is in the house. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Nicole, how are you doing? Thank you so much for tuning in. How's everybody doing? Um, for the regular guys, I'm really, really sorry about yesterday. I had some stuff that I am uh, looking after. So you're going to be seeing that in due course. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I hope it's as good as you want it to be. For those that are just tuning in and it's your first time on the Lunch and Learn, welcome. Could you just type in where you are tuning in from? Austin, como estas, my friend? And Luke says, never be sorry. Oh, common courtesy, man. <laughs> I love your work, by the way. Thank you so much. All right. So for those that are aware of what's going on, Barbara, hope you're having a fantastic day so far. You know that I actually believe every one of your businesses should actually be profitable and enjoyable. And I actually viscerally believe that if you are running an online business, you should be creating and relating for those people that you're going to be taking money off of. And Karadine, thank you so much for tuning in. Eric, what's happening? All right. And also, guys, I teach um, four-step system, which I'm going to be talking about a lot today. Ajay, how are you doing? And uh, yeah, look is in there. Bobby Williams, thank you all so much for tuning in, guys. Babra, very words in Bandabag, roads closes and flooding. Yeah, I heard it was raining there. So, um, hope it's all working. And uh, Ajay says, I'm Eric, son. All right, cool stuff. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Right, um... The reason why you're all here today is so that we can talk and discuss how you two can have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. I mean, that's why we are laboring on the internet. That's why we are putting in all the work. That's why we are trying as hard as we are to actually be, do, and have, you know, um, a happier existence. And if business is your vehicle, then, you know, you've chosen the right channel. Can you also just type in the comments, what is it that you do? Just one word. Don't tell me the whole shebang -a bang I just want to know, do we have a doctor, an account? Do we have um, a digital marketer, an online person, a real estate person, whatever it is that you do, can you just type it in the comments there so that I know that this is going to be specific to you. Eva Lee, thank you all so much for tuning in. Are you tuning in from Bahamas, right? That's amazing. Uh, Nicole says dishwashing. That's how I started when I was in Australia. I was working in a restaurant and I was washing dishes behind the scenes. And guess what I did for them? I went in and I asked if I could do their social media and I was doing it for free up until I kept, um, you know, winning customers for them. And then they promoted me to become their social media manager. So where you are is temporary, my love. Where you are is temporary. Anna, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, Barbara is a VA. Robert, uh, hi, I had a... I had Chrome issues. Now you're in there. Thank you so much. Faith Njovu Wunjani. Uh, you're a casino host. Thank you so much for, you know, all the work that you do for people there. And Del Cargley. Thank you so much. Um, Bahamas is 11.06 p.m. Wow. 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 That's some determination. And I know that everybody likes the dream there, Ivali, but the hustle is sold separately. Mongameli. Gunjani Mganwami. Yeah, I hope you're, you're excited about what's about to happen. All right. I really want to inspire you to do things that inspire you. All right. Nash, how's it going, my brother? Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, yes, and like what Nicole is saying, um, you're a timeshare sales agent. I don't know if they do that in Australia, but I believe that if you're going to be successful, um, you know, in, in your um, sales, you really have to connect to the people you're going to be demanding money from. You really got to create content for them. And so on this show today, I'm going to be uh, teaching you how I absolutely do it, how I'm always consistent, even though yesterday I was away, but that's, 
you know, within reason um, and why every single day at 2 p.m. you should expect a show from me. Now, Paul says, I help businesses achieve more with better processes and systems. Definitely. You guys should check out Paul's work. Um, and can you also put your website so that people can connect with you? Me and Paul are partners. We, you know, we're working together and trying to help businesses actually, you know, achieve prosperity and the owners to enjoy what they're doing. So if you're online, obviously your main uh, purpose to be online, depending on who you are as a person, is actually get more clients and to generate more revenue, right? I mean, maybe some people are there for, for other reasons. Um, some people might be there to grow their online business. Um, I just assume that's the goal for everybody else. You want you want to achieve a business that's profitable. You want to enjoy working in that business. And you also want to work with people that you absolutely love. And that's probably why you're sitting here with me um, and you're about to um, you know, listen to what it is that we're going to be talking about today. But some of you might be asking yourself, how do you achieve this goal? How do you absolutely get a lot of profit? How do you work with people that you absolutely love? And you know, what do you do in order to scale your online business? This is this is what a lot of people question themselves every single day. You know what I mean? But I know what you need. I mean what you need is what everybody else needs to take absolute amount of action to um, you know, go in and be consistent and be specific about what it is that you're offering your customers and actionable digital marketing strategies that actually work and they're actually proven to get people results, okay? I also have an album um, in my profile. When you're finished watching this, you should go and check it out. Results and testimonials is what I call it. So it's basically where people have gotten a result from what we're teaching them and they're actually getting ahead in their business, all right? So I know that you need a detailed action plan do you know what I mean? A step by step, all the right steps that you should take so that you can go from point A to point B, which is where the results live. In between has a lot of work. In between is a lot of stuff that you've got to do. And in between, it is something that once you've mastered, once you've put this together, it's going to be absolutely amazing for your business. Tough. Thank you so much for tuning in, brother. And thank you so much for all the work that you're doing behind the scenes. And I want everyone else to connect with Tough, guys, because um, he is working with me and we are putting in together all the strategies, um, you know, that, that are going to be designed to help your business to be profitable and enjoyable. So if you see Tough in the comments there, say hi to him. He's going to be um, working together with me and also helping me with this live session. So be on the lookout for um, him and his expertise. All right. So there's also, um, you know, um, stuff, stuff that happens. You know what I mean? We have created what is now world famously known as the online prosperity blueprint. It's just a four step system that is really easy to understand. I'll just go over it right now so that you too can also understand what it is that we're talking about and how it can help your business. First of all, you really need to capture the right kind of leads so that you're working with them. And once you've gotten those leads, you need to give them enough content so that they get to know you, they get to trust you, and they get to work with you. Jay Baba, how are you doing, my friend? Thank you so much for tuning in. And then pretty much after that, you need to be able to convert them to become your customers. So after that, you then connect with them on a personal level so that the whole circle is complete. If you haven't gotten yourself a copy of the blueprint, be sure to get this um, as I'll be talking about it a whole lot today. You know why? Because that's the reason why my business thrives. That's the reason why, um, you know, I have a business that's profitable and enjoyable and I wish that on you and your, um, you know, your customers. All right. I want to teach you exactly what you need to know about scaling and growing your highly profitable business. And you will be wildly successful if you just follow those steps. It's as simple as one, two, three, or as A, B, C. You know why? It's not going to be any new shiny object that you've never heard of. You will notice that it is as simple as, you know, you just getting up and knowing what 
part of your marketing you're going to be doing? What part of your um, you know, marketing strategy you're going to be tackling on that particular day? I want to tell you something that's, um, you know, that's really funny before we actually dive into the online prosperity blueprint because you've got to be really good at marketing. No matter what you're going to be doing, you're going to have to sell something to people. You're going to have to engage those people so that they understand who you are, what you do, and how you can help them. Without that, without you putting stuff out there, without people knowing of your existence, your business is not going to last until Friday. And we all know that. All right? So what I'm just trying to tell you is marketing is no more than just applied psychology. All right. And Walter says I'm the Bruce Lee of marketing. (laughs) Great stuff. But you got to be water, my friend. Be water, my friend. You know what Bruce Lee says about being water? When you put water in any container, it takes the form of that, um, you know, container. So I bet that's what you are when you're placed in an environment, you will definitely, um, you know, uh, flourish. And Janice, thank you so much for um, tuning in. Uh, to this live show. So like I was saying, guys, you got to be really, really good at marketing because if you're not putting your stuff out there, nobody is going to know what you do. Nobody is going to know um, what you sell, how you help them and how they can connect with you. All right. And as much as everybody else out there does not want to be bothered, does not want people knowing what they're doing as a marketer, it is your prerogative to make sure that your message goes out to the people that it is intended for. All right. So it's nothing more than applied psychology. You actually connecting with the people, persuading them and actually helping them. A lot of us are not doing the connecting. A lot of us are not doing the persuading. A lot of us are not even helping people by actually helping them. All right. How are people going to know what it is that you actually do? How are people going to know how you can serve them? A lot of people that I talk to, they think that marketing is nasty or it's like some immoral thing. And most of them are usually artists. Um... Tough says, what would you say is your message? Tough, my message is to help um, online you know, entrepreneurs to actually have a business that's profitable, enjoyable, all right? I believe that everybody deserves a happier existence, and I believe that as an online business person, you should be able to create for and relate to those you're going to be demanding money off of. That is my message, man. All right. And I I really, really want that people understand that when you are putting your message out there, when you are helping other people, you should actually show them you can do it by actually doing it. You know, just like a magician, a magician is not going to, you know, go on the street and put um, a show and then expect you to come back to his house so that you can see the tricks. No, he shows them right there and there. And then people put money in the hat. So that's exactly what should be happening when you're putting your word out there and, and when you are, uh, 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 are talking to the people that are going to be paying you money. All right. That's the reason why you need to figure out who is the right kind of person that has the right kind of pain that your service can offer the payoff. And what product are you going to be giving them that they are willing and able to pay for? That's as simple as it gets. Whatever you're going to be doing, your Facebook ads, whatever you're going to be doing on your website, whatever you're going to be doing in any form of marketing, you need to figure out, are you talking to the right kind of people? Are you, are you actually solving a problem as an entrepreneur? Are you giving them the right kind of payoff that they're willing to pay for? People are always going through some sort of pain. And your duty as an entrepreneur is to take them away from that pain because you know the strategies that take them from A to B. All right. And you are bridging that gap for them. Some people are lazy. Some people just want it done for them. Figure out what your skill set is, what your skills are, 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 are there that you can actually use to help people go away from whatever pain they might be going through. It's as simple as that. None of this yaggedy yaggedy, look at me, look at me. What are you doing? Who are you doing it for? All of that, you really need to know. And once you've figured out that stuff, you just want to make sure with those people, you justify their failures, right? And then you encourage their dreams. You confirm their suspicions. 
and you ally with their fears, pretty much after that you just throw rocks at their enemies and now you are known for something. Right now I want you to type in the comments below, what are you known for? What are you known for? It doesn't have to be business. Just tell me what you think you are known for. All right? What, what do you think you are known for? Because people are not just going to magically appear and start watching your live videos. People are not going to magically appear and buy your stuff. People are not going to magically appear to come and read your blog or read your stuff. You've got to put it out there so that people know. You know, even right now, I want to ask again another question. Do you think you know what you're known for? Hmm? Is there, is, is there something that you are well known for? Because whatever you are known for, all right, it is the how of whatever you do that then is presented as marketing. How you do what you do is how you need to show people what it is that you do through marketing strategies. And Robert says, I'm known for reaching out um, in a very warm and genuine way. That's good because after that you have created a community around you that is actually helping other people, um, you know, have um, a, a really, you know, um, what do you call it? A happier existence. We need to talk. I mean, we've got, we've got a call scheduled, right, Robert, where we need to refine your message, refine your why, so that people can actually understand why they're in those meetings. But so far, you're doing amazing. All right? The reason why most people are not successful is because they either fear or they actually avoid marketing. And for the same reason, sometimes most people, it's only because they cannot teach what it is that they do. And marketing is all about educating the other people, which is what gives us the, 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 the part of the content. It's about educating another person to understand your point of view and why you are the right kind of person to help them. You know, some people are just, you know, focused on the end goal of them making a sale. They're not worried about the content they're going to give their customers so that people know who they are or what they're actually known for. They're not focused on the design of that content because they're going to be competing with other people. You know, the marketing is the how. How do you do what you do? People need to know that. How can you be of use? What's in it for your customers? You know, the delivery, the teaching, the connection, the content, it's very important, especially even more important than what you are doing. Furthermore, I don't know if you guys actually know why, the reason why you do what you do, because you got to start with why. If people don't realize that my show, my mission, my goal is to have their business profitable and enjoyable, nobody would understand what it is they're sitting down here for. Because I want you to win. I want you to have a business that you're profiting from, that you actually enjoy working in. But how do I do that? I educate you guys every single day. I inspire. I provide value. And in the process, I'm positioning myself as the person that is actually helping you have that business that is profitable and is enjoyable. Can you see how, can you see how the blueprint works? It is everyday things that you're actually doing only in a form that you can actually see what you're supposed to be doing. Am I engaging with my customers today? Am I educating them? Or am I inspiring them? Am I providing value? Because you are paid in direct proportion to the value you put in the marketplace. If you're not providing value or if you're broke right now, figure out what am I not giving? Find out what am I not giving? Because if you're not giving anything, then you'll be broke. Because why would people want to pay you? What would somebody pay you for? What problems? What frustrations? What shortcomings are you addressing with your business, with your products, with your services? So if people don't understand why you do what you do and you can't articulate how you do it through your marketing, then how do you expect people to swipe right or to actually look at your stuff? Because for all we know, you could have the cure for cancer. But if you don't market it well, we'll never know that there's a cure out there. You know? 
you could have the world's most important message or the greatest story that could help other people be to and have a life that's worth living. But if you don't promote it, if you don't package it intelligently and with reason and with passion, how are people going to even know you exist? So you need to figure out who are the people that have a pain that your payoffs can or your product can give them the right payoff. That's the capture side of things, all right? And then all you gotta do is create content that engages them, that educates them, and then you position yourself to be the person that everybody else knows. What do you do and what are you known for? And then in the process, you're, you're inspiring them to want more, be more, and do more. And you're providing value in the process. You know what? You're paid in direct proportion to the value you put in the marketplace. If you're broke right now, that means you're not putting out any value. So figure out what is it that you do, who needs it, and then go out there and search for those people. And once you've done that, all you gotta do is you're no longer farming, or you're no longer hunting for them. You're just farming because you have sown the seeds already. You're no longer selling, you're solving their problems. You are just doing online marketing like we're doing, just showing up every single day with a few calls to action and measuring and tracking what is actually working. Life becomes a bliss. You know why? You're no longer selling. You're no longer putting yourself in an awkward position and you've got leads that are going a mile along, uh, you know, standing in line a mile, a mile long. You see how the process works now, all right? And then eventually, right at the end, this is what you now have. You now connect with those people that you've started off with. And guess what starts happening? You become an authority in your industry. You're branding yourself and people now know who you are and, and what you do and how you can help them. In the process, you're creating relationships. People do business with those that they know, like, and trust. Now, if you've created relationships within your community, you've built an audience, you've related to them, and you have nurtured it in such a way that you can now sell to them without feeling, you know, feeling tired or feeling like, you know, you, 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 you're going over bounds, isn't life going to be easy for you? And then in the process, what have I left? You now have a community of people that really want to be around you and you've built, um, you know, loyalty amongst you. You now have ambassadors. Can you imagine when you actually don't even have to market and you now just have people that are spreading your word? You know why? Because they've understood what your why is. They've understood what your mission is. They know what your passion is. They actually know what you're sharing. Okay. I'm also going to educate you one thing. Every time I mention the word share, that's when you have to share um, this video. Uh, otherwise, the bosses will just think maybe uh, I'm not doing my job. Okay. So when people know who you are, what you're known for, and, and what your expertise is and how you can actually help them, they will share your stuff. Share, share, share button is, is right there. Can you see it? They will share your stuff. They will start talking about you at, at the barbecue. They will start, they will start, you know, laughing with you and they want to be around you. Faith and Dolph says, what will work for me in my future PR? Exactly. Like I'm saying, Faith, you've got to figure out what can you do for people? Who can you do it for and why they should care that you are the person to do it for them? You've got to give them enough content so that you engage them. There's over 7 billion people in the world. What makes you stand out? And also one other thing, Faith, you've got to realize that you have a story. You need to be able to bring it out, all right? Because your life story, all right, and your expertise and your experience have greater market value than you could ever possibly dream of. You are here to make a difference in this whole world, Faith. All right. So the best way to do that is to package your knowledge, package your expertise in such a way that you can actually help other people succeed. In the process, you're going to be sharing your knowledge and your advice and you built a lucrative business that is profitable and enjoyable. That's pretty much all there is. All right, so you got to figure out what am I good at? Who am I selling this to? And why should they care to get it only from me? 
Yeah? Who can benefit the most from your products and services? That's all you gotta worry about. Because if you're gonna be spraying and praying with your marketing, you basically are not going to reach anyone. As you guys know, every single day we sit around here for, for um, you know, for 30 minutes. Because I believe, I viscerally believe that every person that's sitting here and watching this video right now should have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. That's my truest belief. That's why I get up every single day. Alan Hogan, thank you so much for tuning in. And I also believe once you've got that opportunity to, to be profitable and enjoyable, you now have to start creating for and relating to those that will be paying you money in the future. Because they deserve to hear from you. People are always searching for somewhere to belong. You've got to create an environment that people can be who they want to be. You can inspire them to want more out of life. And once you're providing value and once you're, you're, you're inspiring them, once you're engaging with them and educating them and you're positioning yourself, it's just simple. You just wake up in the morning and figure out which part of my business am I working on today? Am I working on the people? Am I working on connecting with the people? Because without the people, how are you going to go to the bank? You are going to need the people to give you their credit card. So the more value you're going to put out there, the more, you know, the more money is going to come through because humans are wired to reciprocate. If I give you value today, the, the one thing, the least you can do is share this video or tomorrow you, you could either bring a friend and watch this video with, with them, you know, because you, you feel like you've got to give back, you know, if somebody gives you something. So do that with your, with your audience. Show them you can help them by actually helping them, engaging them, inspiring them to want more because there's a lot of crowd going out, out there, you know, in the world. People are tired. People are depressed. Your brand has to be the brand that is providing a sanctuary. You know, and once people know that they can hibernate in your brand or they can, um, you know, be connected with you and whatever it is that you're doing, you become the go to person for whatever it is they're searching for in life. Wouldn't that be nice when when people come around and start asking you, hey, man, where can I buy shirts? I'm not a tailor, but just because just because it's, it's one of those things, man. Alan Hogan, uh, good stuff, and you said my uh, surname right. Oh, you, your surname sounds like Hulk Hogan, so I would have taken it from there, all right? Guys, all that you can do is all that you can do. And if you make it to the end of this video, please share this and just let's spread this word and help people to actually have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. That'll be your part in actually, you know, making this world a better place. I've also written, um, you know, the online prosperity blueprint PDF that you can actually uh, download somewhere online. If you want this, just uh, type in PDF and then I'll definitely send you through. I think it's a, a 20 page. Um, it's a 20 page PDF that says, um, you know, the stuff that I talk about every single day, how to use lead magnets, how to improve your copy, speak to them more, write the way that gets people reading all the stuff that actually I use in order to be, do, and have a business that's actually profitable and enjoyable. Right? Robert says, this is what I like to think I'm doing. I hope so too, man. And like I said, guys, your life story, no matter how um, you think it's not important, you will be able to be, do, and have a business that's profitable, enjoyable, if you put your mind to it. I really want you to succeed. I really want to help you build all the systems, you know, um, in your business so that you can operate on autopilot. I really want to help you, you know, build all the leads, you get all the revenue so you can basically work around the clock with your PR and your branding. Good day, Ray Ring. How's it going, man? You just came in and we're about to knock off. All right. Because what we're doing here, guys, is we really want to be creating and relating for those that we are going to be taking money off of. I know everybody wants a steady flow of clients or customers, and it will be, you know, key for you to have a profitable online business. 
But the only way you can do it is to figure out who exactly is going to be your customer. How exactly can you solve their pain? What payoff are they actually getting from you that they cannot get anywhere else on the internet? What product are you offering to solve that pain with? All right. And then once you've gotten those people, engage them formally so that they understand who you are, what you do and why you do whatever you do. Educate them. No, get them to know what to want because people have no clue that they're missing out on good stuff. You know why? Just because they have no idea. Inspire them to want more. Inspire them to aspire to be the best individual they can be while you're providing value and positioning yourself as the person that is a go-to person. In the process of you doing that, you no longer have to sell. You're not just solving people's problems and only doing online marketing, which is as easy as you just putting out calls to action. And you're just measuring and tracking what's working, what's not working. You ditch, you leave, you go and you do something else. In the process, you're creating lasting relationships. You know why? Because people want to do business with those they know, like, and trust. All right? You're building your own authority and people can share your stuff, talk about you at a barbecue, and you get recurring customers while you're branding yourself in the process, creating a community around your product, your message, and everything else that comes along with it, and build loyalty. Once you've got loyalty, once you've got a community, it's as easy as one, two, three to actually be do and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys, and thank you so much for indulging me and those that have shared this video. Arigato. All right. Tomorrow we'll be back again. We'll probably be talking about one of these, um, you know, sections of the blueprint. But in the meantime, go out there and create that business. You know why? I've got your back. I want that. That business becomes profitable and that business becomes an enjoyable thing for you to have. Have a fantastic rest of the day. I'll speak to you guys tomorrow.